Hey guys, it's Martin Rooney from TrainingForWarriors.com and today it's leg day. I'm here with Rafael Sapo Natal, fighter from Brazil. He's 7-1 out of Brazil. He's come to the United States to train with us. The guy is fierce, man. Check out his videos on YouTube and you'll do exactly what his latest opponent just did. As soon as he saw the videos, he backed out. So now we're waiting for someone else for him to fight. We just did legs today, so we were killing it with our legs. The finisher for us today is the sleds. Now we're going to show off an exercise from the first book. and. Right now with the bands, I'm going to place the bands. These are pretty high tension bands too. In between the webbing of the hand, I've got my back hooked up to the sled. And then I'm going to place the webbing of the other thumb. Placing it into the armpits. So when I'm here, now it's not going to rub on the outside of the arms. So that when I move, I can extend all the way through. So it's going to increase the cardio through the roof. Because now I'm using my upper body musculature as much as my lower body musculature for the legs too. As you can see, as always, we're doing these barefooted to really strengthen the feet, which again is the same way that the, we're going to compete. We're going to go down forward using an opposite arm, opposite leg relationship and strike as we do this. Then on the way back, we're going to work the rotator cuff to really balance out the shoulder. Here it comes right now with the sleds. So right here, it's really difficult. You want to feel yourself just driving forward, just pushing forward. You're going to feel the triceps on fire, but it's building that extension, keeping your hands high. And what's interesting is you forget about the legs killing you when you're doing this much with the upper body too. We usually go 30 to 40 yards today. We're going to go 25 yards right here. Good. And then we're going to reverse it, turn it around. Pull the weight back. And now we're going to work the rotator cuff, the retractors, the shoulder, everything to really continue to have shoulder health. You're going to get the band at a place where you can create good tension where it's tough, but not something where it's so difficult you can't do it. You're gonna step for about five steps backwards with little small steps, working the quads, then release. So it looks like this. Step and hold, and then release. Step and hold, and then release. And repeating that over and over. So now we're getting a good isometric contraction. Again, bringing the heart rate up, making it more difficult. Feel it in the quads, but again, turn this sled exercise into an upper body exercise too. Why not work in the training economy? If we're gonna work the legs, why not work the arms with it? And good. So right there, two great sled variations. Hope everybody enjoyed them. Try these out. They're awesome, you don't need much equipment to do it either. We're gonna keep bringing you more from trainingforwarriors.com.